Hello everyone. So today I want to make a short video and I do have something to share. Now I was looking for a way to I mean I was I was I was aware of this but I mean I never really used it. Now I've decided to use it. So I was looking for a way to easily make rest calls from uh, Emacs. Now I use REST API almost every day <laughs> because I have to. I I normally work with Jira, REST API and uh, other applications, APIs all the time. This is what I do as part of my job, as part of my work. And uh, I think I have a decent understanding of how APIs work and I normally have uh, my own shell scripts. I mean, I, I, I use, of course, a variety of ways to interact with REST API. Of course, my first preference is shell scripts or if I'm writing some code in Java or Groovy, mostly it is Groovy. Of course, you have a lot of libraries. If, if you're doing some development in Node.js, yes, you have that capability in Node.js. Uh, PHP, although it has been a, it has been some while uh, since, I wrote, since I last wrote anything in PHP. And uh, Yesterday, I wrote uh, a small VBA code to pull things using REST API in Excel sheet. Yes, I use Excel sheet. Yeah, don't blame me, but I have to. It's not bad. Excel sheet is actually, Excel is a good tool. I mean, uh, in fact, it is much better than, or it used to be much better than Windows. Even now, Windows 10, I think Windows 10 is quite decent. Of course, you can't really customize and if you are coming from Linux background, then of course it is not the same, but Windows 10 is quite okay. Uh, earlier Windows was really difficult to use. Now, Emacs can also make REST calls and uh, you basically need uh, one package called uh, REST Client. So this is one, one package that you can use. And uh, because I use uh, org mode and uh, I basically not always but if you if you look my my previous videos if i have to show something if i'm making some notes i, I always use uh, literate programming for example if i have to insert some shell script or a command i can do something like this here right and let us say if i have to run date command on my system i can do that right great now uh, you can do the same thing with the uh, REST client, but to use REST client, I, and by the way, you can install this REST client from uh, from Melpa, I guess, uh, which which is what I did. And to make your REST client work with the uh, org babel, like literate programming, you need to install this ob hyphen REST client. And uh, once you do this, it is very simple. We just need to use the REST client, right? And uh, you have to make a REST call. So a REST call could be like this, a simple REST call to, let us see my my, my website, Ravi Sagar dot, let us use dot com. Okay. And it will basically retrieve the, uh, I mean, this is how REST works, right? Of course, uh, depending upon uh, the endpoint, sometimes you will get uh, JSON, or XML, uh, whatever, or maybe in this case HTML. So you have this uh, this response, which of course you can handle the way you want. And uh, I have not really started using it uh, for doing anything uh, uh, for my work, but I need to first learn all the things. For example, uh, uh, using of course REST client, you can make uh, of course, when you when you're dealing with REST API, you have to authenticate. You have to pass in headers. You have to pass in body, the type of body, and it will get you the response that you need to handle. Uh, so this, of course, has a lot of documentation that I need to read, and maybe I will start using it. And you can all, you, you can not only make a get call, you can also post something, which is wonderful, right? So this is something that I will uh, do, and I will start playing with it. But I thought I'll probably just mention it in case you're trying to do something you never really really, really know right I'm, I'm, i know a lot of people want to use emacs and org mode and they want to use it for 
a lot of things. That is the great thing about Emacs. Uh, you can use it for endless things, literally end endless things. Uh, Emacs, when people say that Emacs can be your operating system, yes, it can be. I mean, you can actually browse web and I've made a couple of videos. Of course, you know, using Emacs for browsing modern websites is definitely not ideal. I mean, I would use, I, I would still use Brave, <laughs> but uh, if you want, you can. You can also use uh, Emacs for browsing simple websites. I mean, for simple websites, it work. It works really well. But to make a REST call uh, and even, because I, I, this would be, I, I would use it to, uh, because I have like hundreds of videos on uh, making REST calls, um, to do something with Jira. And I will now use this to make my notes because th that is a great thing about Emacs, right? You can actually make notes with embedded code that you can run. Awesome, right? All right, that is it. Short video. And uh, I hope I hope you found this video useful and you learned something new today. Bye-bye. Today is uh, Friday and uh, I hope I hope you enjoy your 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 weekend. Usually on week, week weekends I try to not make any technical videos. Uh, if I'm uh, in fact I have started not opening my laptop. I I tried it last last week, maybe two weeks ago. Uh, it was a strange feeling because usually when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do, I just, uh, you know, press the green, the, the green button on my ThinkPad X320 and I start it and uh, it's like my, my second, it's like part of my life. Uh, just like you brush your teeth every day, you eat your food, I op actually open my laptop, which is actually not a good, good thing. So I've started taking like proper breaks on Sundays. I mean, for me, even taking a break from work it means okay I'll I'll probably watch Netflix. Yeah, I I did cancel Netflix, but I'm I'm back because I was definitely missing uh, this evening time when I watch movies. So I I do have Netflix, I do have Amazon Prime, I do have Disney Plus. Uh, I was thinking of maybe canceling one of one of these services, but I guess it's okay. I mean uh, we 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 need to. I mean I, I like watching movies. Uh, yes, I did watch. Uh, Stranger Things. I enjoyed it. The, the, the fourth season was great. And uh, um, YouTube is probably fine, but uh, I, I grew up watching a lot of movies, back-to-back -back movies uh, on Star Movies. We we had Star Movies back then. Uh, so I used to watch three, four movies a day. Sometimes I, I used to watch the same movie again. Uh, so I do like watching movies, and I don't really think I'll... Uh, I mean, there, there was a time, like like a long time when I stopped watching TV. I mean, I don't really watch TV anymore, but uh, for movies, yes, I, I like to watch movies. But there was a time in the last, maybe uh, maybe till 2019, uh, when I didn't really watch a lot of movies for a long time. But now I'm back because after COVID, we don't really go out a lot. I mean, I do go out a couple of times in a week and I, I of course, meet people I have a drink with them and uh, if you're not really doing that for a long time, you need something, right? You need to kill time and you need a break from work. But I think it is probably a good idea to just not do anything at least once a week or not open your laptop. Because when I open my laptop, by default, I open uh, uh, like this super shift and E, which is, which is my key to launch, my shortcut key to launch uh, Emacs. And... Uh, uh, and I think uh, I would recommend you to as well uh, take a break from time to time from work from laptop hopefully hopefully Sundays would be no laptop day let us see I'll keep you posted bye bye cheers